Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Hilton Head Preparatory School will be performing one of the most memorable Disney movies, The Little Mermaid, March 16th through the 20th. Here to share more, director Peggy Trecker-White and performer Ava Nixon. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So Ava, please tell us about the role you're playing in the show and what it means to you to be portraying her. Well, I will be playing Ursula, which is the evil sea witch, who is um, a murderer, but also a very funny comedic act acting role. And it's been a blast playing this role because I have, as my sidekicks, um, Zach June and Jack Dextrays, who are both seniors, and they're my eels, my evil, evil eels. eels. And they are absolutely hilarious, and we've become a real comedic team. I always seem to play the weird character roles who yeah. get into a lot of mischief. So but the three of them are like this cohorts in crime, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Very fun. Yes. That is fun. That is fun, <laughs> mm -hmm. especially if you have fun counterparts. That's fun. So, Ava, what is your favorite song in the show, and why? My favorite song is probably "Poor Unfortunate Souls," which is. Ursula's big number at the end of Act One. It's when she talks to Ariel and is convincing her to trade her voice over to Ursula. So Ursula's got lots of schemes going on and she's trying to essentially gain back the, the power she lost to her brother, um, Triton. So it's a very fun song, it's a big number and there's fog and a magic shell and yeah. it's a lot of fun. Was that sh song in the movie? It was, yes. And in the movie, Ursula is definitely bigger and a little bit uglier, but we're kind of playing up the yeah. glamorous yeah. side yeah. of you, her. Yes, yes. I was going to say, yeah. No, so you don't fit on. that at all. <laughs> oh, no, you, you don't fit that at all. Gotta make her gorgeous. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so um, can you tell us what it's been like to spend your time in theater and in rehearsals, creating friendships with the kids of all ages within the school? It's been a blast. I mean, really, it's a huge cast, 40, 40 members. With the lower school, it's 56. 56. That's a big cast. Yeah, the lower yeah. schoolers come less, mm -hmm. a lot less a lot. to rehearsals, mm -hmm. but with, um, we have... Middle and upper school, I think it's 35 students. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's really amazing to be able to be all together in one, one place and get to form friendships, and yeah. you just see it backstage when we're sometimes goofing off and our director doesn't <laughs> like that, but we get to talk and actually connect to yeah. each other and it's really amazing yeah it's, yeah it's a blast so peggy this is a true community effort to get this show produced can you tell us a little bit about who's helped you behind the scenes sure so um our costume director uh sorry costume designer actually usually works with bluffton children's the mm -hmm. beaufort children's theater okay uh and then we have a lot of people from the art center that are helping us out behind the scenes um our lighting designer works at the art center but then we keep, you know, every show kind of at the end, like, ah, oh, I need this, I need this. <laughs> yes. And every single time, like, they've just been amazing in helping us uh, put that, put the show together. And uh, so it's the, I feel like the arts community is sort of rallying behind, as well right. as, the, of course, the, the parents. Certainly. But, um, Definitely all the theaters, uh, Main Street Youth Theater, the high school, Christian Academy, everyone is so supportive of each other. Yeah. And um, we Well, the arts are borrow. really, really so very important in our community mm -hmm. in large. I, I, I absolutely agree. And I think especially with schools, we become competitive in sports, of course. Certainly. Um, but I always hope that with the arts, we come together and support one another. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, you know, our cheer each other on with right. these kind of endeavors. Right, absolutely. So are there any new kids that we may have not seen before in this one? So like I said, we have mm -hmm. um, 35 students in the middle and right. upper school. And I think all the middle school students have perhaps done shows at our theater, but we ha it's so exciting because we have a lot of kids in the upper school who have never done a musical before, have mm -hmm. never yeah. been on stage. Wow. And we have our, our usual crew of, of actors, but mm -hmm. to bring these other kids, we have some seniors who are like, oh, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna try this out. Last year, yeah. they wanna do right? it, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and, um, and then and various ages, and I, and I have watched them through the process kind of like glazed and like, oh, what do I do? And <laughs> glazed and dazed. <laughs> making huge fun choices, and yeah. it's great to watch that yeah, process. Yeah, that's wonderful, and quickly, 
uh, dates and times and how people get tickets. Okay, so people can go on to our website, mm -hmm. hhprep.org, mm -hmm. and get tickets there. They can also buy tickets at the door. We are, uh, if somebody comes uh, dressed as a Disney character, child or adult, we will give them a $2 voucher for concession. Oh, We're how fun. We're encouraging Disney characters. Woo. Uh, and the show <laughs> runs uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, two, two on Saturday and one on Sunday. That's March 16th through the 20th. Wonderful. And tickets, yeah, tickets yeah. you can buy online. Wonderful. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. <laughs> and we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.